actually starting with a whole new, among other things. Technically, we're still just a startup. Okay. Like now. <laughs> Good morning, St. James. It is wonderful to be here with you. I wish that I could see you, but obviously, because of extenuating circumstances, we can't be with one another right now. I can't be with you, and Lord knows I love seeing your bright and shining faces, but for your sake, for my sake, for the sake of all those around us, we are taking these measures to make sure that nobody gets unnecessarily sick. But today, in addition to some new things, new ways of doing chapel, we're also going to be doing a few new different things with chapel. Obviously, since we're not supposed to sing, we're not going to be doing hymns, at least for the time being. Uh, we are also going to be doing a brand new liturgy, a brand new order of service that we have from a brand new hymnal that has come out from our publishing house. It's really nifty, actually. I've taken a look at it. Mrs. Goodspeed allowed me to look at her uh, copy, and it's pretty neat. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, but part of the difference for today is that there are going to be... Um, Normally, we would all respond in one way. You know, the pastor says something, and then everybody else responds. This one will be a little bit different. There will be different parts that we um, are doing the liturgy where there will be parts for boys and parts for girls. So, I want to make sure, and I want you to make sure that you're paying attention to what you see on your screen so that you're able to respond in the appropriate fashion. Okay? Sound good? Well, let us make our beginning. We make our beginning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To God, our Creator, who makes all things whole, give praise to the One who holds all in control. To God, our Redeemer, who came to restore, give praise to the One who will reign evermore. To God, our Companion, whose counsel abides. Give praise to the one who within us resides. Now for our scripture reading this day, this is actually the theme verse for this year, and of course our theme is sent to serve, which is just right up my alley, because we have the understanding that we are not called to serve ourselves, we're called to serve others, all those around us, including those in your classroom, your teachers, your peers, everybody. That's who we're called to serve. But the reading is from Matthew chapter 20, and it starts at verse 20 and runs through verse 28. It's kind of an interesting story. I want you to pay real close attention to it, okay? So, the word of the Lord from Matthew chapter 20. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came up to Jesus with her sons, and kneeling before him, she asked him for something. And he said to her, What do you want? She said to him, Say that these two sons of mine are to sit, one at your right hand and one at your left, in your kingdom. Jesus answered, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I am to drink? They said to him, We are able. He said to them, You will drink my cup. But to sit at my right hand and at my left is not mine to grant. But it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my Father. And when the ten heard it, as in the other ten disciples, they were indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus called them to him and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them. And they, their great ones exercise authority over them. It shall not be so among you. But whoever would be great among you must be your servant. 
And whoever would be first among you must be your slave. Even as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now, my friends, grace to you and peace from God our Heavenly Father and from our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Mr. Rogers, Mrs. Northington, Mrs. Grott, Mrs. Goodspeed, Mrs. Teets, Mrs. Zagold, Mrs. Satgast, Mrs. Rowland, Mrs. Troutman, Mrs. Jeffries, Mrs. Hamilton, Mrs. Ripke, Mrs. Domkowski, Mrs. Ryder, Mrs. Kaiser, Mrs. Farrington, Mrs. Hooth, Mrs. Bryan, Mrs. Kaler, Mrs. DeBlick, Mr. Goodman, Mrs. Kurtz, Mrs. McQuinn, Mrs. Tarter, Mrs. Lucy's, Mrs. Michael, Mrs. Moya, Mrs. Beckner, Mrs. Prather, Mrs. Hecht, Mrs. Smith, Pastor Heckert, Pastor French. There are more. More people who work here at St. James Lutheran Church and School. And you know most of them, if not all of them. And I want you to know up front how much we love you all, how hard we have all been working to get this year up and running just for you, and how excited we are to see you all again, even if one of us can't see you right now exactly. <clears throat> we are thankful for each and every single one of you, and I know all of you are thankful for each and every single one of us. Because, simply put, our school could not operate without all of those people that I just listed, and all the others who are helping out. They are very important to you and for you. Your parents, your, your grandparents, and others, I'm sure, also think that you are very, very important. And in many ways, you are. Usually, though, we often measure our importance by what we do, what we accomplish. In our Bible reading, the mother of the disciples, James and John, she loved her sons very, very much. She thought they were very, very important. And she wanted them to receive the honor that she felt like they deserved. The other disciples, they heard the conversation. And they were jealous of James and John, the attention that they were receiving. Matthew says that they were indignant. That means that they were very, very angry, very upset. But Jesus, the perfect teacher sent from God, teaches the importance of serving. While the world thought that those who had important titles, important positions of power, that they were the most important, Jesus taught that those who serve others are the ones who are most important. Jesus even said, whoever would be great among you must be your servant. Then Jesus teaches the most important lesson of all. It's a lesson that will be our school theme this year again. The Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Jesus, the Son of Man, served during his earthly ministry. He served by healing others. He served by miraculously feeding thousands. He served by healing people. Most importantly, though, more important than any of the other miracles that Jesus performed was his going to the cross and giving his life as the sacrifice, the ransom for all our sins. Only Jesus, the perfect Son of God, could serve in this way. None of us could do it. 
and only the sacrifice of Jesus could pay for our pride and all our other sins. Because we are blessed in receiving Jesus' service through our baptism, when we are baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we are now blessed to humbly serve one another together this year. This year, we will serve one another and others in Jesus' name. Now, let's quick have a word of prayer, and then we'll continue with the rest of our service. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you are the ruler over all creation. However, you chose to be our servant by giving your life as the ransom for our sins. We thank you for serving and saving us. In your grace and mercy, teach us to serve you by serving one another this school year. In your holy name we pray. Amen. And now, my friends, we continue by confessing our Christian faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We will now move into our prayers, and you'll notice something about our prayers. Mrs. Goodspeed is going to put it all up on the screen for you, and we're all going to read it together. But you might notice that if you read along the vertical axis on the left-hand side, you can notice that every one of the petitions actually spells out a word. The first letter of each petition spells out a word. That word is Alleluia. And that word means we are praising our God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise God. So, let us pray as we reflect on the word, alleluia. All praise eternal God to you. Lord, have mercy on your people. Lead us to love you and our neighbor. Enliven us through your word and spirit. Lift us up with your strength when we fail. Unify your people in mission and faith. Inspire us to worship you in spirit and in truth. Always be with us, even to the end of the age. Amen. And if you don't mind, I'm going to have a word of prayer right now, just rather impromptu for all of you and for all of our wonderful staff. So let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us to this wonderful day that we are finally able to come back together as your people to love you, love one another, and to learn the ways and the things of this world while knowing that we are not of this world, even though we are in it. We pray that you would continue to be and abide with all of our students for those who are maybe dealing with some anxiety over coming back, we pray that you would give them the peace that only you can give, the peace that goes beyond anything that we can understand. We pray that you would be with all of our teachers and bless the work of their hands as they start once again the process of teaching these wonderful young students. We pray that you would be with all of our administrators as they have to make these rather difficult and trying decisions we pray that you would give them the peace that goes beyond our understanding and remind us all, ever and always, O oh Lord, that we are your forgiven children and how much you love us, how you loved us so much that you gave your Son to die for us. Let us serve one another well this year, O oh Lord. In the name of our crucified and resurrected Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. 
Now we continue with the rest of our service. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. And we pray together the prayer that our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. My friends, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. My friends, I hope you all have a wonderful first day here at St. James. I'm going to turn things over to Mr. Rogers. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just go here. Good morning, St. James. It is so good to be back. For many of us, we have not been in school for March, since March, and it's so good just to be back in school and to uh, be around uh, the other uh, children and the staff, and just wonderful to be back. For all of our new families that, and new students that we have in our, in our school, we welcome you to St. James, and we look forward to getting to know you better and to be able to, to, uh, to learn more about you. Uh, to all of our returning students, We've missed you. We've missed everybody, and we welcome everyone back to St. James. As we get started on this first day, it's going to be just a little bit different. We're going to be learning new procedures, new routines, new ways of doing school, but we're still going to be doing school, and that's the most important thing as we learn about the world that God has given to us here on this earth, as we learn about our math and science and reading English. Uh, social studies, our PE, and music, and art, and everything that we have to offer here, we're going to be doing. And we're also going to be doing that in a, in a safe environment, too. But we're, most importantly, we are still going to be learning about Jesus Christ, who came to die on a cross for our sins. And we thank him uh, each and every day for doing that, for that, for that love that he has shown to us. There'll be a lot of things that we'll be learning throughout the next couple of days and actually the next few weeks as we learn how to do school here at St. James, just like every other school as well that is going to be starting up here as well. We pray that God will continue to bless us and keep a protective hedge around our school as well as keep us safe and healthy. And we just are so thankful to, to see you and to be with you. You'll see me around um, in the hallways. I'll be popping into the classrooms. You'll also be seeing some things that are just a little bit different. Uh, maybe you'll see some tape marks around in the hallways. Uh, and that's to signify uh, six feet. And what does six feet actually look like? And how we can social distance as we are in the hallways and moving about. Uh, remember to have your mask. And if you don't have... Uh, one of these lanyards yet that can be helpful too to put your uh, your mask on uh, and then you can take them off as the teacher instructs you to during those times uh, throughout the day but most importantly make sure the masks also go home each night so they can be laundered and cleaned and then to bring back a fresh one in the morning um, make sure you also have a water bottle too so that you can uh, have water since the drinking fountains are shut down the water bottle filler is open uh, and everything so you can use that as well but please make sure you have your uh, water bottles of, um, ready to go for the day and also make sure those are cleaned at the end of each day as well again we welcome you to St. James we're so happy to, to see you again we have missed everyone and we've missed being able to educate uh, to, to you and we're just looking forward to a great year whatever the year is going to look like in, in the future we will take that as it comes and then we will uh, uh, keep going and uh, be looking forward to meeting you. So take care. Have a great day. So go in peace. Serve the Lord and have a great day here at St. James. Take care. Bye-bye now.